Now for the moment we've all been waiting for and it is how to export our game and share them with others. Now I'm very excited about the game we've built so far so I want to export it and the first thing we need to look at of course is our build settings. Now we've already covered this in two other videos so I'm not going to bore you to death again with showing you how to drag scenes into the build menu and order them by numbers because we've already done that through scripts and stuff like that. Now underneath that it gives you a couple of options of how you want to export your game. So for example I want to have it in a web player or I want to have it in, onto a web player that is streaming from a server or as an uh, Macintosh widget which will uh, be on your desktop which is not really recommended for a full screen game but more for smaller widgets then also you can uh, save it as a standalone game for Windows and then there's the other Mac versions available down here now as soon as you say I'm ready you can hit build and run now let's for example try and make a web player if I hit build and run it will ask me where I want to save it so let me save this on the desktop in the folder web player and then I will give it the name first person shooter and I'll hit save now it starts exporting and this could take a while depending on how many art assets you have and other things like that and then it will launch the web player but in this case it's launching it in Google Chrome and Google Chrome does not support the Unity web player at the time this video is recorded. So instead let's go to our desktop open up the web player folder and you can see there's one HTML file and there's one .unity 3D file. You'll need both of these in the same folder to make this work. So if I open this with for example Safari you can see that Unity loads and I have a nice web player it pops up the Unity logo you can switch this on or off I'll show you how to do that later and you can basically play your game. Now let's look at the other option as well let's go back to Unity and then let's save this as a Macintosh Intel version and this time you can also select I want to have the development build which allows for debug options to be active. Now let's build this and let's put this on a desktop in a folder called Mac version. Let's call this FPS also and of course it goes through the same processing. Now this could take a little bit depending on the speed of your computer and of course the size of your project and now it shows me the default play dialog and I can here change the input of my joystick stuff like that and I can um, set the graphics quality to good or fantastic or fast and I can run the game either in windowed mode or in full screen mode now you already know what the game looks like so let me quit out of here just for now and of course last but not least there's a Windows build and of course I can make that on a Mac as well but I cannot open it on a Mac because it's of course not Windows so there's how to export your game and share it with your friends the most commonly used one is the one that is a web version because people can play it inside of their web browser so that they can quickly show each other the progress on their game but of course once your final version is finished you'd want to use the other ones also now next uh, in the next video let me show you how to change the settings of your export uh, before you actually export it